Hi everyone, here we are again back at Shed Science. I've lost my voice. But since our last episode, something has gone horribly wrong. We have had an intruder. An intruder has entered the shed. Yes, Simon from Maiden Gully, a friend of the show. And his brother. <laughs> my brother has brought in some lights just to make shine a little bit of light on the science. So let's get into it. What have we got today? We got um, pencil. Pencils. We have ten pencils. We got um, a plastic bag with water. A plastic bag with water in it. And we have over there some... What are they called? Um, candles. Candles. We might light them later. Why not? Here on Shed Science, we don't take, we don't miss any opportunity to set something on fire. Anyway, guys, what we're going to do, you can do this at home, can't they, Annika? Yep. And yep. Yes, they definitely, you can do this at home. This is an ordinary lunch bag filled with water and then zip locked. What we're going to do is stick 10 pencils through there and see what happens. What do you think is going to happen? I think it's going to pop. It's going to pop. All right, let's start. Can we do it? All right, number one. We'll do All it right. close for the camera. Why don't you pause the video and go and get your own pencils and a Ziploc bag and a bit of water. Water's free. Or well, not that free. You in your safety zone, are you? Yeah. Here we go. We're going to push the first one. We might get the sharpest one first. It might rain. Here we go. One, one pencil through the paper. Two pencils through the, not paper, what is it, plastic. Let's just keep going. This is just a, a frenzy of, of water through plastic. You're so weird. I'm so weird, am I? No, that's so weird. Oh, right, it's weird. That's weird. How many are we up to? Count them up, Tully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Count, each time I put one in, count it. You too, Annika. Eight, nine, ten. Ten. Ten pencils through a plastic bag with water in it and no leaks. But we have one more thing we can do with it. Hold that, Tully. Don't let go. Nice and tight. Two hands. A lot of, a lot of our viewers don't believe that we actually held the water over the flame with the balloon and a few other situations. So we're going to try and prove to you that we really do hold these things over the flame. I've got five candles. What? One, Lucy. two, three, four, and five candles. What? Lucy. Don't put it back in. It's not on. Safety first. Rightio, guys, you should be able to see that we are actually sitting this on the flame. Are you ready? What do you think is going to happen? Let's do it. I'm going to move it around so that you can see that it really is on the flame. It's so going to pop, Dad. Don't do it, Dad! <laughs> Multiple places and black soot on there to prove it. I'm moving it across the flame and I'll turn it this way Stop! just to prove it. Stop! If I touch the wick, it'll go. Touch the wick. Everyone wants me to touch the wick. <laughs> I wonder if I even touch the wick. Oh my god, how long is it going to take? No, don't do it! We're going to blow the shed to smithereens, Tully. Yeah, no! That's quick, I'm leave! Get out of here! <laughs> we can't even do it. Just put it on the wick. I'm trying to. I am, but it's just not even melting. A little bit of water's coming through now. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Guys, I give up. Alright, can I stop Hang on, sit here, mate. Come on. Okay. Sit in here. Now, go and get one. Try it at home. Uh, why isn't the water getting out? 
Well, and more importantly, why is the plastic not burning? Tully, can you sit here, sit right up? Can you take those sunnies off and, put you, and show people right up close what's going on? Put your fingers through. Right up close, mate. Right down here. <laughs> Tully tricked you all. Oh! See you later.